All right, back on review to the new Graveyard Drift Quest Pack. I'm only able to do this review because my friend Mickey, I'll put the card in the top right for his channel if you want to go check that out. So this pack is $16. You get the Drift Walker skin with three different edit styles. One is the one you see here, the Stealth Drift Walker, the Regal Drift Walker. You also get the Broken Fractal Wings Back Bling, the Corrupted Rift Edge Pickaxes, the Corrupted Tendrils uh, glider and you get 2,000 V bucks all that for $16. I have nothing else to say. Let's get into it All right gamers before you continue watching this video remember to subscribe like comment share and check that description Go follow me on TikTok, Instagram Twitch Twitter and check out my discord server and everything down below now back to the video All right, so here's the drift walker skin with the corrupted rift edges pickaxe pull up Swing. Okay, so you get some lightning for a streak. Interesting. Impact? Yep, pink impact. Alright. Not too bad. Not too bad. I still don't like dualies. Um, we technically already had it rift edges that were dualies. Maybe they should have been an S style for this pickaxe, so it could have been both, like the two-hander and then the dualies. But whatever. Alright, damage to opponents. Interesting noise. And there's like some smoke coming on. I don't know if that's a part of the skin. Huh. I think that here, we'll try it one more time because I didn't... That's part of, okay, so that's impact. So if you hit someone with a pickaxe, it does some weird, like, ghost shadow effect. Alright. We can leave after that. I just want to make sure that's what that was. It's a little ADS. So the first episode of the ADS is good. I think it makes sense. Back a little, you know, bulky, I would say. It's like wings too, so it's, that's what they're based off of. So they have the same effect as every wing, where you jump and it folds out, you run and it closes in. It's not as like crazy as closing in on some other wings, but you know, it's similar in that aspect. Yeah, Idius is pretty solid, for this effort style at least. Bandages. Mini. Splash. Slurp. Fish. Big shield. Med kit. Chug Alright, let's do a little gliding. We do have the glider on. I forget the name of it. We'll see. The corrupted tendrils. Flow. Interesting sound. Forward. Back. Left. Right. I'm moving. So these are like the LeBron James slash Ariana Grande wings. I'll just call it that. They're not like the Batman wings. Interesting. We'll do one more pull out because they are kind of interesting gliders. Or interesting. A interesting glider. Can't speak. Corrupted tendrils one more time. It comes out of the back lane basically. The back link does disappear and then it pops out. Do it one more time. Alright, so that's how it works. Interesting. Very big though. Jesus, man. That's huge. It's a little building. Oh. 
Well, goddamn lag, man. Jesus. Jesus. All right. So let's take the backling off, actually. Jesus, look at those shadows. Um, let's take the backling off quickly so you can see what it looks like with no backling. So this is what he looks like with no backling. At least the face style. This is just the face style. Looks good. Looks good. He does have a little bit of animation going on on the back. If you can see there. Right there. Just a little bit. Nothing crazy. Alright, so here's the other side. The Stealth Drift Walker. We'll put the back thing back on for this one. Right there. And it does kind of glow in the dark, which is kind of cool, the back thing at least, because we have this shadow going over it. Um, I can't really show this on my actual map, not on, on my account, because I have like the green, but you can kind of see it, how it looks in the dark, with the same as the pickaxes. I might fix that with my map, but for right now, we can't really fix it. Um, and then we will take off the back wing. Hey, let's do some ADS section. I'm sorry. So the ears might block you here, but after that, nothing crazy. We'll take off the back wing. you can see oops just so you can see what it looks like with that all right all right now we're gonna reset and show off the final style i'm gonna treat it as a completely different skin because it kind of almost is like a completely different skin kind of like how i did the original drift in my uh retro review um so yeah let's do it all right so here's the regal drift walker with the corrupted rift edges pull out swing so like you can see this is like the original drift where it kind of animates it's not crazy animation like the original drift but there is some animation on the outfit itself same pickaxes like i said i think they really did need an edit stop for the pickaxes uh, just so we can have a two-hander, just like the original Drift, or Rift Edge pickaxe. And then we could have the summer one, which we got the dualies. Which, these are kind of more based off of than the original, actual pickaxe. I don't think they're bad, I just don't like dualies. That's my biggest problem. Alright. A little ADS, so ADS shouldn't be crazy or great here. I mean, um, yeah, it's not too bad, I guess. Um, it's what do you expect with Rift's coat on? Um, it's not great, but it's not horrible. Not as bad as like Ragnarok before they gave him the no shoulder pad. So, a lot of detail with the skin, though. That's for sure. That is for sure. Alright. Some shield. Fish. Slurp. Splash. Mini bandages. Big shield. Drug. All right, let's show off the glider. The corrupted tendrils. Forward. Back. Left, right, not moving. He looks really cool like this. 
Like, damn, that's like a cool thumbnail. If the thumbnail is this, just him gliding, you know why. That, like, that is cool as fuck. Just him, like, gliding like that. That's cool. That's really cool. I'll give it that. That is kind of sick. Full maxed out like that. That is really cool. Oh. It's a little laggy. I don't know why, but... Lags at all in this review. That's why. It's just been really laggy for some reason. That fucking 8 ping and it's lagging. Like, what the hell? Alright. Let's take the backling off quickly. Let's just sh quickly show it off. So you can see the underneath. It's basic drift, though. Like, you kind of know what you're expecting here. It's just less animated. Um, but, you know, it's still cool. I think it's pretty good. But, uh, yeah. Let's go to Battle and I'll tell you, should you buy the Graveyard Drift Quest Pack? Let's do it. All right, so about all of them. So should you buy the new Graveyard Drift Quest Pack? So, like I said, this pack is $16. You get the Drift Walker skin with three edit styles. You get the default one, the Drift Walker. You also get the Stealth Drift Walker. You also get the Regal Drift Walker. For the back thing, you get the Broken Fractal Wings. For the pickaxes, you get the Corrupted Rift Edges. And the glider is the corrupted tendrils don't forget you get the 2000 v buff challenges also uh we're gonna quickly check that i don't think he did any of them so yeah right here you do complete uncommon or rare quests and you get v bucks so you just keep completing them and you get v bucks that's just how it works but uh yeah should you buy this pack i think it's a pretty solid pack First off, you get a Drift reskin with a bunch of edit styles. That's a big plus. A lot of people like the Drift. Some people missed out on the Drift. Both Drifts. Uh, three Drifts, actually. There's three Drifts you could have missed out on. You could have missed off on the original. You could have missed off on the girl. And then the uh, other girl that came in that crew pack. So, the three Drifts you could have missed out on. This is a pack. It is a limited time pack. But most likely, it will come out every year. Um, another Drift will probably come out every year, too. The Snow related one but that doesn't have as many edit styles as this one this is the definitive drift or the summer drift is also pretty good good too i think we have every drift or every season except like an easter drift we might get that also so you have a drift for every season realistically if the summer drift this halloween drift the christmas snow drift and then we might get an easter drift we'll see but i think this is the peak of drift reskins for me three edit styles 16 dollars a 2000 v bucks um, a pickaxe, don't like dualies, but it's a pickaxe, a backling is pretty solid, and that glider, damn, it looks really cool with this fucking style on him. This, I think, is the definitive style also. Um, a lot of things with the drifts we get is we never get the final style. We always get the first style. Uh, Summer Drift, he looks like the first style, just the coat on and the coat off. The uh, Snow Drift, I guess, um, he just has the basic style. Um, and then the original Drift, you know, he has all the styles. But this, we get three edit styles. So if you're a Drift stan, um, this is your Drift, realistically. I think it's the peak of Drift. Only if you don't like the face and you don't like how he's a vampire or something. That's, like, the only thing I could say, okay, it makes sense that you don't like this Drift. But I think this is the peak of Drift. Personally, I'm not a Drift stan. I think I'm fine with the original Drift. I don't even use Drift that much. Um, but this is a really solid Drift. I'm not going to complain. $16 for this, 2,000 V-Bucks. You get the skin, the backwing, the pickaxe, and the glider. I think it's a pretty solid deal with three edit styles. So I would say buy it if you actually really like Drift or you missed out on the original Drift. I already own the original Drift, so I'm not going to buy this. Um, but for that 2,000 V-Bucks also, that's a pretty good deal also. So if you're going to buy 2,000 V-Bucks, buy this realistically. Um, but yeah, that's really all I have to say about the Graveyard Drift Quest Pack Bundle, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, so about it. Let's do the emote for the thumbnail. It probably won't be the thumbnail, but uh, yeah, the car emote. GTA San Andreas emo. But uh, yeah, that's a read it for the Grid Drift Quest Pack. See ya.